Hello guys, welcome back and today what we're gonna be doing is uh, learning how to move camera in an advanced way. So uh, there are two ways the camera moves in movies or in cartoon movies or stuff. Okay, so uh, the first way is pretty simple. It's just you select the camera and then insert the keyframe for something, move it somewhere and move the camera there and move it somewhere and then insert the keyframe and now it moves in that direction but uh that's pretty simple but we're not going to be learning how to you know, i mean we're not going to be doing that okay so uh we're going to be uh learning how to let's say for example there's two cameras here so just repeat this um uh, and then let's say we wanted to look through this camera first and then later on we wanted to switch to this camera so it's it will look like this and then you switch to another view and uh, if you don't know what I'm trying to say here don't worry you'll get it in a second here so um, let me just set it for this and uh, G -Z -Z Okay, yeah, and that's good. Should be scale it down. Okay, that's good. Okay, uh, now, so what we want to do here is first look through this camera, and then later on, as we go through, we want to switch to this camera. So that happens a lot of time in movies when uh, it just happens a lot of time. So you might have seen. Um, so let's start here. So okay, uh, first thing I want to do is um, select this camera, and if you duplicate a camera, you can see that one um, of them has a filled-in top triangle, and the other one doesn't have one. And this is because uh, this is the active camera right now. But if we click this and hit Control B, I think. Uh, control something. Okay, so control something, or you can just go here and go into this menu here, and then click on where you see camera. Click on that and change in the camera, and then you see that this side has a empty triangle, and this side didn't. So uh, yeah, I'll just switch back here to this one. So. Uh, here it's kind of a little different. You don't set a keyframe. What you do is first select this and okay. So you select this. Make sure it has a green uh, building triangle up there. So uh, then you come down to the timeline and hit M, or you just simply go to marker and click um, add marker, which is also M. Okay, so. We have done that, and now I want to move up some, like around that. Or oh, I for I forgot to tell you something. After you have set a marker, you hit Control B. In the timeline, you hit Control B, and then you'll see Bind Camera to Markers, and that's what you want. Okay, now you move some up. Let's say frame 31. Then I select this. Make sure I select it. Then I hit M, and then I hit Control B. And now, as I go back here, you'll see that this one has a triangle up there, a filled in one. So, as I move along, you'll see that the became empty and moved on to there. So, what this does is let me show you. Let me move to camera view. So, this is camera view as I play along. Uh, it moves to the another, it moves to another camera, and um, this is very useful because you'll use it a lot of times. So sometimes you have a scene which has a bunch of cameras around, and then uh, and then you just have to work with it. So you know this is important because you know, a movie cannot just go along when there's just one camera and then the camera just goes around everywhere. Like uh, um, yeah, so. You cannot just have one camera and then you just move it around and stuff to all the time in your movie. So, uh, yeah, that was the tutorial. Or, 
let me just show it to you one more time because it might be a little confusing here. So we need to close everything. Okay, okay, so okay. Leave that here. Okay, just one more time. Okay, so I'll select this camera and then go into the time and then hit M and then control B and then I just move up some. I can even set a keyframe for this. So like I and then location rotation scale move up some like around 33 click i and location rotation and scale and then oh i think i'm gonna stick sorry uh okay so then i move this um okay. first so um i select this and move this somewhere like so somewhere maybe here and then I just hit I and location rotation scale and if I play along with this it moves up okay that's good now I just go to the first one that's it and also you can rename this marker by going to marker and make sure it's selected by right clicking on it and then go into marker and then rename marker or control M and you just name it something else so like first so they'll name it first. Um, anyways, I move up here, and after that's done, I select this, the other camera, and then hit M, and then Control V. And now that should work. I'm just hit zero. And yes, that's how you do this. So yeah, that's the tutorial, and thank you for watching.